Hi everyone, Petal is less here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys another Christmas tree. Yes, I know I've done a Christmas tree already, but you guys, I went to my Dollarama today and they have the gems in red and green. OMG, you guys, they have them out in red and green for Christmas. And I was like, oh no, I gotta make another tree. I gotta make another tree. So, <laughs> Here are the gems, OMG, don't they look nice in the red? And these packs are $2, they're a little bit more, but it's still okay. And they have them in the green too. Oh boy, red and green, oh boy you guys, this is so nice. And you know what? I'll be having these in my Christmas giveaway this year, yeah. All right, I have the styrofoam cones from Dollar Tree. And I got this candle stand from Dollar Tree. Yeah, I'm so glad that they have it here in Canada. There's some imperfections on it, so I'm going to be painting it, but it's okay. I'm just so glad that I found them. I never expected them here. And this is the tea light holder I got from Dallarama also. And here's the white paint that I'll be using to paint them, the candle holder. And we have our tools and our glue gun. All right, you guys, let's get started. Okay, you guys, this step is optional. I'll be painting my cone in white and I don't like how the styrofoam you can see little imperfections on it so that's why I'm painting it over in white one coat of white it's optional you don't have to I like my things looking very nice so I try to dress them up as good as I can so I'll be doing it with one coat of white paint on both of them and now I'm painting my candlestick holder in white. I know they come in white, but I did not see them in white. I only saw the black ones at my Dollar Tree. And here's the cone all dry, you guys. It looks much better, nice, smooth, and how I like it. So now I'm going to put the gems on. Oh my gosh, these gems are so nice in the red. And now we're going to be doing the small tree with the green and red stones. Now we're going to just bling out our candle stand. I'll be putting the small red gems all around the bottom just to give it an added touch when I add the Christmas tree on top. And now it's time to glue our Christmas tree on top of the candle stand. Just add some hot glue and place it on top. And now for our small Christmas tree, I'll be placing it on top of the tea light holder. Just turn it upside down and glue it on. And here's our finished look, you guys. OMG, I love these gems in the red and the green. I do like the red a little bit more than the green, but they look so nice. OMG, I can't stop saying that. They look really nice in the red. I like the colors they have out for Christmas. I like how it looks on the white stand and the white candle holder. It looks very nice. Now, you can spray paint the candle holder if you like. But it's cold outside now and I'm not going out there to spray paint. So that's why I use 
the paint, to paint the candle holder. Or who knows, maybe you'll find it in the white. I hope we get it in the white over here. But right now, I just saw the black, so I had to paint it in white. But I think they turned out lovely. They look very nice. And like I said, I will be adding these in my giveaway package for Christmas. OMG, they look so nice. So I'll be adding these in my package for you guys so you can fling out some stuff too for the holidays. Oh, you know, the red ones can be used all year round. Yeah, they look really nice. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on again and seeing the blinged out Christmas trees that I did for you guys again. In the nice red and green gems. OMG, like I said before. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So you can come back and see all the nice DIYs that I come up with to share with you guys. Alright everyone, remember as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bless. Bye-bye.